District play is getting to be in full swing here in North Texas, and we have plenty and plenty of games to break down uh, in those district races. Uh, with Ryan Osborne here, I'm Travis Brown, DFWVarsity.com. And uh, first, before we get into some of those games, we have our epic moment of the week, and it was very epic from one player. That's quarterback Trayson Wallace from Fort Worth South Hills. He had, you know, just... Eight touchdowns in the Cat, game this casual week. Casual eight touchdowns. Right. Uh, Fort Worth South Hills is the number one offense in the state, uh, averaging 68.4 uh, points per game. And these this eight touchdowns are just part of, you know, that uh, mediocre 29 touchdowns this year, which is actually amazing. Uh, rush for 10, pass for 19. Uh, he's doing a pretty good job there for, for South Hills this year. Pretty prolific pace for this offense, and it's probably the highest scoring offense in school history for them. And really for any Fort Worth school, I don't know when the last time a Fort Worth school has put up this many points on a consistent basis. Now, you could point out that the competition that they played through five games hasn't been the best, but I don't care who you're going up against. This offense will work against any team. It, it'll be interesting to see how they, because they have a legit chance to possibly run the table in the regular season. Depending on where they get a draw in the playoffs, uh, this could be a team that can make some noise in either Division One or Two or 5A. Right, right. So congratulations to Trayson and South Hills on that. Let's get right into these games. We have uh, first Arlington Sam Houston versus Arlington Martin. Sam Houston is a team that I think is surpassing many expectations uh, heading into this year, especially with their showing against Bowie last uh, last week, and Arlington Martin, who is starting to turn things around now that they've gotten into district play. Yeah, Martin was 1-2 uh, and two going into district play. They started the season 0-2, then they beat South Grand Prairie, but they lost to DeSoto and Dallas Skyline, two very tough teams. And man, what they did against Arlington Lamar, putting up over more than 60 points, uh, and, and just a real powerful performance, what we're accustomed to seeing from Martin. And then Sam Houston on the other side, they nearly beat Arlington Bowie. They missed a two-point conversion. You were at that game. And then they got the onside kick, and then they couldn't convert after that either. But to, to play a Bowie team that close, that just goes to show how deep this District 4-6A is. Sam Houston, led by Irvin Hill, TCU commit Darion Flowers, uh, they're going to be competing pretty heavily for that fourth spot to get into the playoffs and Martin I think I think Martin will will take care of business this week uh, you're not going to see a close game they'll run the football and Eric Walker who's been very efficient the last few weeks will take care of business but Sam Houston again much improved from last season. I think the blueprint for beating some of these great teams with great offenses was really exposed this week, not only with Sam Houston, but you can even look across the other side of the Metroplex at Flower Mound Marcus and what they did to Allen, and that is ball control, possession, keeping the other team's offense off the field. And Sam Houston has shown with their running backs that they're able to do this really well. And Martin is not unlike... Bowie's offense, and they like to get to the ball, get there fast, and get points on the board as quickly as possible. And it's a great blueprint if they can do it again to try to keep that Martin offense under control. I think this Martin team might be a little bit stronger uh, up front on the, the the offensive and defensive lines than uh, Bowie was last week, and I think that'll prevent Sam Houston from being able to be as successful running the ball as they were against Bowie. So it might not be down as down the wire, but it'll be a very good game still. Next we have. Pell at South Lake Carroll. We start that District 7 6 A District of Doom play with uh, a big matchup here. Ryan Agnew should be good to go. He left the second quarter of last, last week's game against Abilene. Uh, everything Hal Watson has said is said it's been purely precautionary. He didn't really go into detail of what they feared may have been an injury, but it seems like he, you know, he practiced yesterday on Monday, so he should be good to go this week. I'm going to take the Dragons uh, in a close one. Obviously, Coppell, the defense, the history that they've had at being a powerhouse program, but it is very hard to go into Dragon Stadium and get a win. That atmosphere, that uh, you know, environment is just very, it makes it very tough for an opposing team, and I think Carroll gets off to a uh, good start in this very, like you said, tough district, district of doom, uh, the SEC of high school football, any anything you want to call it, it's it's going to be tough. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with South Lake as well. I think Coppell. Uh it makes it a little more District of Doom because of Coppell's name and what they've done in the past. It's been a little bit of an up-and-down season for yeah. Coppell. They need to uh, kind of get adjusted to this coaching staff, so I'm going to go with South Lake as well. And then finally, we have uh, a team that's undefeated and really flying under the radar, but it is a good team. Saginaw Boswell at another undefeated team, Denton, this week. What do you see in this matchup? I'm going to go with Boswell. They, uh, they beat Azel last week. They are 
Usually, they usually most most often a playoff team the last six years, and and Denton though uh, they're very under the radar team too. They've struggled the last few years. Now they're four zero. Uh, I'm going to go with Boswell to get a win on the road though. I'm going to go with Denton on this one. I, uh, I I like Boswell. I like what they did with Hazel, but I think Denton has had a, a little bit stronger uh, a, a strength of schedule to start out with, a little more battle tested. I'm going to go with Denton on this on this one. Let's go no huddle real fast. Uh, can Arlington Lamar bounce back from that beating they took last week to play another tough competitor in that district, Arlington Bowie? I'll be at this one, and I will say no. I think Bowie will uh, get that bad feeling out of barely beating Sam Houston last week and get a solid win this week. I'll take Bowie as well. Duncanville at South Grand Prairie. Two surprise teams, uh, much improved teams. I'm going to go with South Grand Prairie, though. I'm going to go with Duncanville this week. Trophy Club Byron Nelson versus Denton Ryan. This is a tough game to call because Den Ryan, I think, is a bit down. Nelson has been up and down this year. I'm going to go with Nelson uh, to get probably what might be a minor upset, but both teams uh, needing a – would be a very great win for, for either team here. I'm going to go with Den Ryan in this one. Denton Geyer at Justin Northwest. I'm going to go with Geyer. Uh, Northwest cannot stop the run uh, the run game. I think Sean Robinson, Denton Geyer's quarterback, is going to have a field day. I agree. Denton Geyer in that one. And finally, Grand Prairie versus Mansfield. Grand Prairie hasn't looked bad this year. Uh, they're usually not that strong of a team, but I think Mansfield, very solid program. Uh, they're coming off a loss to Duncanville, I believe, so I think uh, Mansfield will uh, get back on the winning winning track here. I like Mansfield run, Mansfield's run game. They, they had a good showing last week, just didn't wasn't able to pull it off. I'm going to go with Mansfield field in that one. So uh, go check out some of these games. As you've seen, there's a great slate this week. Uh, go back and check up all the best recaps and stats on DFWVarsity.com. We'll see you next week on the High School Huddle.